Hello friends. In this video, we're looking at a limestone type ore that contains gold. You might wonder, if there's gold in the ore, why doesn't it dissolve in acid? Well, here's the answer. Limestone and carbonates neutralize the acid. Instead of attacking the gold, the acid first reacts with the carbonates. And by the time it's done with them, it's too weak to dissolve the gold. To better observe how acids work, we used three separate beakers filled with nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, and vinegar. Each one was diluted with water to keep the conditions equal. And now, we're adding a raw egg to each beaker. Limestone ores contain a large amount of carbonates. Pure calcium carbonate is extracted from these mines and is often used as a dietary supplement for chickens to strengthen their bones and to form thicker eggshells. Calcium carbonate helps the egg develop a solid shell, keeps the inside cool, and even delays spoilage. But my friends, we're not here to talk about eggs. We're here to understand the role of lime and carbonates in the extraction of valuable minerals. And for that, we're using a few eggs to run a simple but effective experiment. This test clearly shows us which acids react more quickly with carbonate-rich materials. So stay with me as we explore the results. I'm placing some pure mineral calcium carbonate into acid, and as you can see, a rapid reaction begins. The acid reacts with the carbonate as much as it can, gradually losing its strength in the process. Now, if I had added a metal at the same time, the acid would have prioritized reacting with the carbonate first. So when you dissolve ore containing gold or copper in acid, the lime, calcium compounds, in the soil is the first to react. This reaction continues until all the lime is consumed. By the time the acid reaches the gold or copper, it's often too weak to dissolve them. Of course, I'll test this more thoroughly in another video. Interestingly, eggshell can act as a precipitating agent in chloride solutions. When we want to precipitate elements like gold or copper from a chloride solution, we gradually neutralize the acid. You might ask, how? Here's the answer. When gold is dissolved in aqua regia, the first step is to remove the nitric acid. This can be done in several ways, for example, by adding urea or sulfamic acid. The key is to only remove the nitric, so we are left with gold chloride. If we use a strong base to neutralize the entire acid mixture, we might destroy both acids, and the gold may not precipitate correctly. In mineral ores, the process is even more complicated. We must first convert the gold into a pure chloride solution before attempting to recover it with high purity. In some heavy metal rich ores, there's also lime and carbonate content, which makes acid-based extraction more expensive. For example, with non-limestone ores, a specific amount of acid is enough. But in limestone-rich ores, acid consumption can be hundreds of times higher. This raises costs significantly, and also increases environmental pollution. So, what should we do? Let me show you the solution. Take a look at this next part. This is a technical diagram of a furnace made from iron. I've listed all parts and explanations in the video description. For extracting gold and other metals like copper and silver from limestone-based ores. Melting the ore in a furnace is one of the best options. However, it's not that simple, you need to reach temperatures above 1200 degrees Celsius. Before melting, the ore must be properly prepared. This means it should be finely powdered, then mixed with charcoal and sodium bicarbonate, and blended thoroughly before being placed into the furnace. Warning there's something important to note. Sodium bicarbonate isn't suitable for all types of ore. Sometimes, you'll need a different flux depending on the mineral composition. If you're unsure which flux to use, feel free to ask in the comments, I or others will be happy to help. As you can see in the video, the eggshell starts to bubble. Hydrochloric acid reacts most strongly with calcium carbonate, lime. 
This experiment demonstrates that ores with high lime content can be pre-treated by washing with diluted hydrochloric acid to remove the carbonates. For example, if a quartz ore is contaminated with lime and the gold crystals are not clearly visible, you can soak it in diluted HCl to remove the lime, and the gold becomes easier to see. Light bulb by the way, we chose an eggshell for this acid test because its reaction with acid is slow and easy to observe, making it perfect to show how carbonates neutralize acids over time. Those white bubbles you see rising in the solution are carbon dioxide, CO. You can see the chemical reaction below. CACO plus 2 HCl right pointing arrow cackle plus CO plus HO. Friends, every mineral has its own chemical and physical characteristics. Just like limestone ores have their own properties, sulfide ores also behave differently. Sulfide ores are minerals where metals exist in sulfide form. For example, pyrite is iron sulfide, fez. Sulfide means a combination of sulfur with elements, often in a non-metallic or semi-metallic state. Now let me ask you, what is the name of gold sulfide? What does copper sulfide look like? How is mercury sulfide identified and extracted? And how do we tell them apart? I'm running experiments on these questions every day, and the results are truly fascinating. For example, I recently converted some metallic gold into a sulfide form. And now I'm trying to recover the pure gold back from it. These kinds of experiments help us find the cheapest and most effective methods to extract gold from sulfide ores. Those of you who've followed this channel from the beginning know the journey we've taken to uncover the secrets of the mining world. And I sincerely thank all of you who've supported this channel. Your encouragement keeps me going and inspires me to continue my research. Dear friends, I'll be removing some of the older videos that have low quality, and replacing them with new, detailed videos. The process takes time, since filming chemical experiments isn't always easy. Sometimes I repeat a single experiment several times to make sure it's practical and safe for you to try as well. Now, let's talk about electrolysis as a gold extraction method. Many people believe that gold ore can be placed directly into an electrolysis system. But that's not true. It doesn't matter whether you're using acid, cyanide, or theocyanate. In the end, you must first prepare a clean, filtered solution. For example, if you have a cyanide solution containing gold, you can precipitate it using zinc powder and copper sulfate. This method works, but the result may not be pure gold. However, if you take that gold-containing cyanide solution and run it through an electrolysis system, then with the help of proper electrolyte additives, Pure metallic gold will begin to deposit onto the cathode plates. In the electrolysis extraction process, it's not always necessary to use a graphite or titanium anode. You actually need an anode made of a material that can oxidize and release ions, making room for gold ions to deposit at the cathode. To put it simply, there has to be an ion exchange so that gold can turn into solid metal and stick to the cathode. I explained this clearly in the video linked above. For example, you can use a clean iron anode, which gives up its ions and allows gold, copper, or silver ions to be replaced, and the metal gets deposited at the cathode. Think of electrolysis like a controlled version of chemical precipitation. You just need a metal that's willing to give up its place to gold ions and help them settle out as pure metal. As you can see in the video, Hydrochloric acid reacted strongly with calcium carbonate, while nitric acid was weaker, and vinegar had the slowest reaction. In fact, the reaction between calcium carbonate and vinegar can take several days, so vinegar is not a good choice for removing lime or carbonates. Nitric acid is also not recommended, as its reaction is too mild. But if you have ore that contains good amounts of gold, Hydrochloric acid can be a practical option to remove the lime and carbonates before extraction. Personally, I believe charcoal-based melting is the best method for extracting gold. 
you don't need to deal with harsh acids or waste time. I'll make another video soon to test ores with high lime content and show a direct melting method without acids, so it'll be easier for everyone to understand and apply. Sorry the video got a bit long, and thank you all so much for watching.